Good afternoon and welcome to afternoon session. Um, we hope you've had a nice lunch break. Um, we are here to give thanks in music, even as we pray, even as we worship together. And we're going to sing hymns that you love. So I'm going to ask that you suggest as we go along. And even our online audience, as they keep joining, that you may give us the hymns you'd like us to sing. And we are going to sing as much as we can. Uh, just before we start, I'm going to ask Moville to pray. Let's believe and pray. We thank you again, Heavenly Father, for giving us the chance to worship you through song and later on through the thanksgiving service and testimonies. And through all these, may your name be glorified. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our first song this afternoon will be 470. 470, Sunshine in My Soul. See? There is sunshine in my soul today, more glorious and bright than glows in any earthly sky. For Jesus is my light. Oh, the sunshine in the shine and bless the sunshine in the soul when the Happy moments, happy moments, moments when Jesus shows his smiling face. There is sunshine in the soul. Ladies, there is music in my soul today. A carol to my king. Let's hear the gentleman. And Jesus listening can hear the songs I cannot sing. Let's all join. Oh, the sunshine in the shine, blessed sunshine in the soul. When the peaceful, happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine. I take any suggestion from the audience here, we're going to sing 312 Jesus keep me near the cross. Faster. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There are precious mountain free to all a healing stream flows from Calvary's mountain. Cross, be 
some choices from the congregation. Five, three, two, one, eight, one. Okay. Sorry? Okay, let's do those and then I'll, I'll take them so that I don't forget. So there's one, eight, one, then? Five, three, two. Yes. One, eight, one. And those joining us online could also give us the song suggestions even as we sing together. One eight one. Let's see. Does Jesus care when my heart is pained too deeply for mirth and song? the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long oh yes he cares I know he cares his heart is touched with my grief when the day Let's respond and start verse 3. 
Cause Jesus can When I've said goodbye To the dearest on earth to me And my sad heart aches Till it nearly breaks Is it all to him does he see? Six, three, two? Five, five, three, five, two. three two. Sorry. Five. Then there was another one here, somewhere here. No, it was five something. Sorry, five, two, four, and? Five, two, two. <laughs> oh, the one here? And behind you? Five, two. Five, two? Four. Yeah. Okay. And five, two, four is also suggested by Nangandu online. Happy Sabbath to you. I'm also seeing the comments online. We'll get to sing them as we go along. For now, let's sing 532. Bye. 
going to turn to 524 followed by 626. Six. Yes. Okay. Then we'll come back to the online audience. There's 633 three and 505. So 626. Six. Cross the 
Let's turn to, while on that theme of going home, let's turn to 633. We are marching to Zion. Then we'll turn back to 505. I need the prayers of those I love. Then we'll go to 305. Give me Jesus. Okay? So let's go to 633. Congregation louder. Just one glimpse Better. of him in glory. Will the doors of life repair? When we all, when we, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that to be.
going to turn to song number 505. I need the prayers of those I love. stop there for now, but we'll come back and continue just where we've left off. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath once again. We are here for an important program of the afternoon. And before we kick off, I would like us to rise up for a word of prayer. Let us believe as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful for a God you have been to us. We are thankful for a year it has been. And we are grateful that we have life and we have the blessing of your love to us. And as we worship you in thanks this afternoon, we welcome your spirit to be with us, to remind us of your goodness, and above all, to lead us always back to you. We pray this believing and trusting your holy name. Amen. Welcome to our afternoon program, the Sabbath of 18th December 2021. It's, it's been a good year. Hasn't it been a good year? Has God not blessed you? Has God not given you peace throughout this year? Has not God given you breath and life? Has God not been there for you through every minute of the way? So today we have a moment to not only say thanks to him, but we have a moment to praise him. And our key verse, I'd like us to open our Bibles, Psalms 68 verse 4. Let's turn to our Bibles and IT please share with us on our screens, Psalm 68, verse 4, and it reads, Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who, exalt him who rides on the clouds by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. And today, it's been a, 
uh, a month or two by the interest and evangelism team to find a moment for us to thank God, to find a moment for us to reminisce and appreciate who God is. You know, and when you look back in your life, when you look back in your family, when you look back in the day to day, over here it has been, we thought today will be a better time for us to come and just thank God of who he has been. And that's why we want to sing. And it's my prayer that we have the spirit to lead us, to remind us of God's blessings. Someone said in the course of the week, you don't know how blessed you are how a life you have, until you're on a sick bed to realize that you're about to die, then you realize how blessed a health you have. And a friend of mine opined, I think two weeks ago, that as Christians, we underrate the blessing of good health. We hardly mention the blessing of good health. And that drove us, as we kept worshiping together this year, to bring us to a moment to praise God. So feel welcome in this Sabbath afternoon. We're going to have presentations from the children, from the church choir, and the, and the instrumentalists as well. And we hope that you'll be blessed by every minute today. So I will welcome Elder Steve, who has been, uh, has been our elder in, at In Church Evangelism, as we hope to minister more and more to everyone here. So he'll share with us a bit about what In Church Evangelism is all about and give us a deep dive into what we can do more as a church together. Thank you so much, and Elder Steve, you're welcome. Let's pray as we Invite God's presence into. Um, let's pray as we invite uh, God's uh, sanctification of this uh, worship service. I'll be uh, very brief. Our Father and our God, we have nothing to speak to your children except at, as it shall be given unto us by the Holy Ghost. We pray for keen listening that we be blessed as we speak on your behalf and as you hear your word being spoken in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, good afternoon, church. God is good. Blessed assurance. Jesus is yours. Amen. Amen. Uh, we all know that uh, this is what the servant of the Lord, Mark, writes to us. The book of Mark 16, verse 15, it says that, and this, and this good news, this good news about the kingdom of God shall be preached to all the world, and then the end shall come says, go and preach the gospel. Whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. Whoever rejects it shall be condemned. So go and preach this good news as a witness to all the nations, and then the end shall come. What is always most encouraging in that verse is that uh, we get to the realization that this good news, this gospel must be preached to all the world as a witness to all the nations, then the end shall come. It's Very comforting to know that this present world as it is will not last longer than it is. I know we've had a year very turbulent, a year of crisis, a year of ups and downs, a year of sicknesses, a year of economical um, challenges, deaths have hit us. But I want you to be comforted that as long as you've had this good news about the kingdom, you should be comforted that the end shall come. And lo, he has promised that he shall be with us 
until the end of the age. Isn't it comforting that uh, the presence of Christ Jesus is assured of us even as we trans transit into this present life, life of space, life of time, into life eternal. Because of our great commission and our great calling as a church, uh, the Seventh-day Adventist uh, Church has put in an evangelism strategy uh, so that we can be co-workers with the heavenly beings in propagating this good news about the kingdom of God so that we may be a witness you know, to all the nations and usher in the ending of this world. One of the avenues that uh, the church has put in place for us to participate in the Great Commission is what we call in-church evangelism. According to the book of Acts, it's, it's witnessing in Jerusalem. And the position of the founder of this church, that this is an area which is seriously neglected most of the times. We as a family of God in Lovington, it is possible that while we are in the church today, we know of some of our household members who have either not known Christ Jesus or rarely participates in the affairs of this church. And so in church evangelism or witnessing for Christ in Jerusalem, the Jerusalem evangelism, is meant to invite us to ensure that we propagate this good news about the kingdom of God to the households at the, at, at the place of residence, at the place of neighborhood. And we are therefore saying that uh, for this to happen, you and I need to identify with our in-church evangelism activities. Let me just share with you, uh, this will shock you, uh, Matthew 28, 16, as, as I introduce this and hand over the program uh, to the MC. This is uh, 28, uh, 16, it says then, Jesus came to them and said, no, 26, uh, 16, 28, 16 says, then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. Verse 17, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. What is going to shock you is that as we roll out various avenues to be part of the evangelism program, you will doubt. Even this in church evangelism, it is bound to be doubted by some. But the good news is that we will, and we have every right to doubt, we have all the fears that come with it. It's, it's, it's even possible, for instance, that my own spouse may not be a Seventh-day Adventist. Forget about being a Seventh-day Adventist. My own child, my own son, my own daughter, my parents, it's possible that they are not, they have not subscribed to this, this gospel, this gospel story, this good news about Jesus Christ and his kingdom. It is possible. And so we are bound to doubt. But let me put it this way, that in our spirit of doubt, in our feebleness, in our fears, in our doubts of our spiritual strength and force, to be part of this gospel channel, there is one thing that we've been assured, that Christ Jesus will substitute for your weaknesses, for your feebleness. And this is what Sister Ellen G. White says, that, you know, each and every one of us, we have been given an assurance of success as we labor with Christ, because uh, Christian service Page uh, 257, the inspiration says that God will do the work if we will furnish him the, instrument, the, the, the instruments. God will accept the wholehearted service 
and will himself make up for the deficiencies. Every deed of righteousness will be immortalized. All, although the doer may not feel that he has done anything worthy of notice. We just want to invite the Seventh-day Adventist uh, church members in Lovington to be part of in-church evangelism so that as, as, we, as we shall be rolling it out, reaching out to you under the guidance of the pastor, that please identify a soul for which you want to be a link in the chain. Just a link in the chain. Be a link in the chain, you know, for a brother, for a sister, whom you know of and today has not subscribed, you know, to this kingdom uh, of, of God. Please just accept to be a link in the chain. And the in-church evangelism team would always be happy and be blessed to identify with you. Your role is just to link this soul to Christ through in-church evangelism. And that is what we are launching today. It will be in form of birthday parties. It will be in form of uh, graduation ceremonies. You could be having a brother who is not yet an Adventist, a, a believer, and God has blessed him and he has excelled or she has excelled in her exams. Please invite us to the graduation ceremonies. It could be your spouse. It could be that you are celebrating your wedding anniversary. You know, it could be, it could be, it could be a birthday of your spouse. It could be a birthday of the children. And this plus many other, it could be sickness ministry that you are having a member of the household who is yet to be a believer. When duty calls for us to identify with you for hospital visitation, for prayers, please those are some of the, the links that we will be putting in place to ensure that we reach out to each and every household members, you know, who is yet to believe in the gospel story. So we, we, we are quite sure that uh, it will be possible because the Lord God has only assured us one thing, that he has, we have to do our part and he will take responsibility for the success of the work. God only needs men and women who are available for his agenda. And at the end of every quarter, we look forward to seeing souls being baptized into the kingdom of God through the Jerusalem or the in-church evangelism. This is what we thought we should highlight with the membership of the church, and we give you an assurance that uh, this in-church evangelism is led by the church pastor. We will uh, observe and respect confidentiality. We will engage you in prayer visitations. We will engage you in celebrations of whatever type, whatever kind, that would give us access to the souls that otherwise, as at now, we do not know of. How many believe that uh, with God all things are possible, including in church evangelism? God bless you. I'm going to ask Myla, you come and pray with us as we finish this session. Okay. Let us pray. Lord Almighty, we are so grateful that you've given us this opportunity this afternoon to listen to your manservant, to remind us, to connect us, to help us focus on the things that matter, not just in this life, but even the, for the life that is coming. We thank you because you ask us to raise our voices in praise whenever we come to your holy habitation. This afternoon, we come to your courts with praise and with thanksgiving, knowing very well that, Lord, you are your ministers, the Lord, you have authored and perfected our ways. We pray that, Lord, you continue to invite your children into your ways everlasting. And this afternoon, as we sing praises to you and as we fellowship, even till the end of the day and even beyond, continue being with us. May your presence be felt here and even after. It's in my prayer thanksgiving. Amen. May the Lord bless you as we worship him this afternoon.
Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Elder Steve, and the members present. Um, for five minutes, I would want to invite Teacher Lynette. We are just happy that we are in the prayer and thanksgiving and singing Teacher Lynette for five minutes. Is the microphone working well? Thank you. All right, Karibu, my sister. Five minutes, time is time. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, Elder. Good afternoon. Uh, we would like to appreciate our Pathfinder teachers uh, for the year 2020. So very fast, we've been given five minutes. What I'm going to do, I am going to call a list of the teachers to come in front very fast for a handshake and to pick their small token of appreciation. And um, Elder will help us give them away. So I would like to, um, looking around for the teachers, I hope you are all in. So I will start with teacher Evelyn. If you don't hear your name and you are a teacher, we'll go with the presentation of presents uh, from next year, January. So for now, we, are, we will be awarding this, but we'll go on with, with the presentations. So I will start with teacher Evelyn Omwega. If you are here, I'll just be calling uh, as you come very fast. Teacher Evelyn. We ask the teachers to come close to save time. All the teachers, this program is so nice for us. As a club, we are doing this as a recognition of the work you have done towards development of our kids. This is purely in reach. Yes. And so all the teachers who are within, we want to invite you to be, get close to us here. As, as we call your name, all the teachers, I can see you are walking in front. Just come up front, just come up front. Thank you, you can come up front, we'll be taken together. Church, these are the teachers who have been walking with our kids. These are the teachers. Okay, uh, so teacher Evelyn. Followed by teacher Fred. Just, just come. Teacher Fred. Eric. Teacher Debbie in absentia. Teacher Sharon, I'm not so sure if she's here, but you can come on her behalf. Uh, teacher Moniti. Teacher Mucha in absentia. Teacher Anne in absentia, Anne Oyuoki. Teacher Jael, if you're in. Teacher Linda, Teacher Felista, Teacher Maslin, yeah, she's here. Joy Oreje, Teacher Joy, Teacher Lea in absentia, Zippy in absentia. Teacher Merab and Teacher Anne, I can see her on the sign language chair, so uh, we will just appreciate her as she sits there. Teacher Anne, I can see you are seated there. You can come as, and you talk the usual way. We can still communicate the usual way. I only know this. 
Thank you, teachers. And thank you, parents, for making this happen. We, I know we ambushed you, but you made it happen. We want to really thank you and thank God. Thank our teachers for the work they have done in the last year. For the rest of the teachers, if you do not hear your name, yours is coming. It's on the way. We will be appreciating again beginning of next year. And may God bless you. Thank you for giving us the short um, session in the program. God bless you. Thank you. On behalf of the church and as the elder in charge of the clubs, I want to say thank you so much, our teachers. Thank you so much, our parents. We want to pray that you recognize this as one of the clubs that is developing the young ones for Christ. May God bless you, parents, as you keep on doing this. Let, may I hand over the program now to the owners. Thank you. God bless you. When my burden seems so heavy and my load is hard to bear, I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. He has promised he might serve him. He will lighten every care. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling to the cross. Sets me free. I promise I will serve him if he brought the light to me. I'm gonna cling, cling, cling. I'm gonna cling to the cross till I die, till I die. When my heart is bowed in sorrow. I'm gonna cling when old Satan's army marching tries to put my soul to flight. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling. I'm gonna cling to the cross till Jesus sets me free. I promise I will serve Him if He brought the light to me. I'm gonna cling. Clouds are low and heavy, and my body 
Once I wonder the Lord in blackness of night, once I struggled alone, far from God and right, then I saw I was lost, and in my despair I fell upon my knees in prayer. Once I wonder the Lord in blackness of night, once I struggled alone. So I was lost, and in my despair I fell upon my knees in prayer. I was down on my knees, on my knees, down on my knees, on my knees, praying to my Lord, to my Lord every day. I was praying to, to my Lord Jesus. He lived in his day.
say the Bible was a lie, was a lie that Jesus did not care and died. We're going to sing 305, Give Me Jesus. Yeah. 
to turn to 647. Let's sing with a lot of sight. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is running on the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his very bosom sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never truth is marching on, also us will march on, because we are soldiers. So let's go to 612 Onward Christian Soldiers. Oh, sorry, we'll let the next...
take our failure you take our weakness you set your treasure in jars of clay so take this heart lord i'll be your vessel the world to see your life in me amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me oh i once was lost but now i'm found was blind going to sing Nyimbo za Kristo number 3 in Kiswahili in English that is to God be the glory but we're going to sing it in Swahili
peace in Christ when we learn of him feel the love he felt for us when he bore our sins listen to his words let them come alive if we live the way he lives there is peace in
joy did he bring the king let every song rejoice and every heart did sing hallelujah hallelujah the sound, sound of heaven's voice the angels proclaim Siku nitakuwa macho Siachi kufikiri Akili imeja mawazo Eti kwamba natafuta Hakuna chochote minacho Angalia ni kweli Mipango nilikuwa na yo Hakuna nilio uti Yesu alitoa ah, mpano wangu 
Happy Sabbath, church. I'm going to sing the last song with the kids. So the request from the church is that perhaps we can play the teaser while the children are preparing. So the song will be released on 24th. Our request is that we share. It's an original song for the children. I believe it's the first department to have their own songs. Usually we've been singing other people's songs. So as much as possible when you get it, please do share. Uh, I'm happy that we are at 10,000 subscribers at YouTube. So let's put it into use. And we just want to thank the church for supporting us uh, to produce it so much. Um, we want to thank the parents uh, who have assisted us. They supplemented the, the, the budget that was uh, lacking. So welcome as the children present.
Hiki ni moja ya kisa kizuri sana kimetumbae uh, katika Biblia na kinahusu kijana ambaye amekuwa akitu inspire sana sisi kama watoto. Nyuma katika ukweli uaminifu safi na nyuma apazia maisha yake kama ilivyo mbele hakukuwa na siri au uovu. Matendo yake na heshima staha ukarim huyu ndiye Yusufu ambaye tuna
testing. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy day. Happy day. Happy Sabbath. Oh, what a wonderful day that we've had the whole of this day. Some of us started far from here. I bring you greetings from Westland Sabbath School where we fellowship this morning. My name is Elder George Kidenda, and I want us to take a few minutes just to wind up this program for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for this far that you've brought us. We want to thank you for the programs that have run throughout our church today, here at the Mother Church and at the Sabbath schools in Westlands, in Kleleshua, and in Jamhuri. And we know that we have other Sabbath schools which we support, we support where programs went on. Now speak to us, help us to give testimony to the glory and honor of your holy name. We pray and thank you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, how many of us have enjoyed today? Good morning, class. How many of us have enjoyed today? How many of us thank God that we've really reached this time of the year? I want to thank God because last year and this year has been a terrible year for a lot of people. The last two years have been the most difficult years in our lifetime in the world for those of us who are living, most of us who are living. We've seen death cross paths, paths with us. We've seen our loved ones go to sleep, never to wake again, waiting for Christ to be the only one who can wake them up. I remember standing here on the 23rd of May last year, two months after the government had shut us up and say that we could not even meet in our congregations. I came here to preach to an empty hall, but to a worldwide audience, thanks to God's goodness, that he will not allow us to do anything before he has provided a way out. I have testimony that I have seen the inside of our world in the last two years. Got COVID, got admitted in the hospital, was released. But I also have testimony that in this, that very time, I lost a very dear friend, Elder Dan Orico of Nairobi Central SD Church. Admitted two days before me, died two days after I had been discharged from the hospital. There's nothing that I deserve to be here more than him. It's only by the grace of God that we are here. And I'm sure that there are so many of us who are here today thanking God that we have seen this time of the year. And so, I want us to spend a few time, a few moments, just to give thanks to God for His goodness. I remember sharing with you one of my favorite songs that you sing during times such as this: "Will your anchor hold in the storms of life, when the clouds unfold their wings of strife, when the strong tides lift?" And the cable strain, will your anchor hold or drift? I'm trusting that you are here because you held to the anchor. That we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock that cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Lord's, in the Savior's love. My testimony, 
again, will be simple. That in that time when I got COVID, at the time that I got COVID, I had no insurance cover. And even if I had it, the insurance companies would not allow you to be covered by that. Imagine the cost of being admitted in hospital. I really did not have the finances that would keep me if I went into a ward, got into the HDU or the ICU, and got all that kind of treatment. But I want to give testimony that at that time, God gave me the opportunity and gave me a consultancy which, by the grace of God, covered COVID. And I got that consultancy just a few days before I got COVID. And I want to say that I was admitted in hospital, treated and fully paid for before I started work. Isn't God good? I could give more, but I want to give other people the chance also to give their testimonies. What has God done for you in the last two years? What is it that you want to give God thanks for? I'd like to give a few people the opportunity just to share testimony of the goodness of the Lord. Are there any of us here who would like to share? The book of Psalms 49 to 10, it says, In the assembly of all your people, Lord, I told the good news that you save us. Anyone in the testimony? Anyone in the testimony? Yes, my sister, I've seen you. Yeah, please come forward. Anyone else with a testimony? We are giving. Yes, my sister, I've seen you. The Lord is good, even when you're tired. The Lord is good. I know you want to go home. The Lord is good. Two testimonies, and then we'll close it so that you can go home. But the Lord never stops to be good. Yes, my sister, please come, tell us your name, and share your testimony. Praise God. So my name is Rose or Mama Alice. Uh, wow. So last in in June uh, last year, um, hey, my husband uh, lost his job, and so uh, he. I think for me that was like the most unfortunate thing to have happened because. Uh, now I had to do like everything and I never used to do anything uh, like shopping and things like that. Uh, luckily there was COVID, so uh, there was no going to school uh, for the kids. So they're doing homeschool. Um, yeah, then uh, this year um, I got a, a, a new job. So I was very happy because uh, now we were going, the kids were going to school and at least uh, I could uh, I could pay the school fees. By the way, honestly, I had never paid school fees in my entire <coughs> life. Yeah. So I know I had shared with uh, Margaret, Rachel, yeah, just and the pastor. Only three people knew. So and when he lost his job, it was in it was not a very good uh, under very good circumstances. And uh, so he took the employer to court, and uh, <clears throat> so the, the issue is still in court anyway. But uh, the good thing is that uh, this year, in November, he got a job, like a, Amen. A, a, a better job. Amen. And for me, uh, I think I, it's unbelievable. 
because uh, I know there are some, when you reach a certain level at work sometimes uh, people, it becomes very difficult uh, to get a job. But uh, I think that period for me was very humbling because uh, like I used to just spend my money, like it was my money, I, but now I, I know how to, I know Amen. what a rainy day means, Amen. you know. And I know how it is to be jobless, mm. and I think I understand people more. I feel uh, more. I, I think I'm more passionate, and I can't believe that we are ending uh, 2021 in such a good way. Considering that it's been a very difficult uh, year for most people, but uh, for me, I, it's something that I felt like I should share, and I'm very happy to. Um, Margaret and Rachel, because the, those ladies that I really confided in when I felt like very, uh, Rachel Nyawata, when I felt uh, very low. Yeah. So, yeah, me, I'm, I, I praise God and I thank God. Amen. The last time I gave a testimony was when my mom was unwell. Yes. And then uh, I think I got a promotion. So it's <laughs> like... Another one is coming. Yes. No, I don't want any more troubles. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Lord is good. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Um, we are winding up. Um, I can see my sister coming. Let us uh, let us share. By the way, it is okay. It is okay to give testimony. It is okay. It's okay. Praise, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you hear me? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord again. Yes. Oh, he seems to want me to get closer and closer. Anyway, my name is Anne Ambani, just in case I am assuming someone may know my name. I'm here to testify the Lord's goodness through troubles. Through troubles. Amen. Any got, anyone got some trouble here? <laughs> Nobody seems to know that. But let me just tell you, the Lord is so faithful. Uh, I wasn't here a week ago, um, and I had gone visiting a sister of mine. And uh, when I walked into her room, you know how I love talking, you know that, right? And it's a gift from God, I bless his name. So as I walked into the room, my mouth was shut. Because what I saw was not a very good sight. And um, I just told the Lord inside that he is able and he is faithful. And as I'm standing here, because uh, her face looked covered like she was in a mask, but it wasn't. It was her skin peeling off and her mouth was with sores, she couldn't eat. And um, so as I was uh, taking care of her and encouraging her, she could only drink soup. But as I'm standing here, the Lord touched her, and she was able to eat better and even go out there. And I praise his name for that. And little but not least, you know, when Elder was talking about having COVID and all that, and having uh, health, health is our greatest wealth. Mm -hmm. So when God bombards you on health issues, he wants to lift you up. Mm -hmm. He wants to lift you higher. So you might be going through a financial trouble like right now. I've gone through that, but the Lord enabled me even to cover some debts. I was even wondering of months of paying of service charge. If you stay in a place and you need to pay the service charge, I was in arrest so big, and I told God, Lord, you need to do this because I can't do it on my own. I'm standing to testify we cleared and we're up to date till December. Amen. Amen. So I'm saying all this to encourage somebody somewhere that don't give up. Keep on telling the Lord. He knows you from the end to the beginning. So may his name be praised. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, my sister. When you thank God, you glorify his name. When you thank God, you glorify his name. 
I hope my, my daughter will give her testimony. And then we will bring this to an end because we also don't want to keep you for too long. But it is good to give testimony. Even the son gives testimony of God's creation. Yes, you can go ahead. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. God is good. All the time. All the time. Lord is good and that is his nature. I thank you. Thank you, thanks. I came to this old church home and I was my father was sick for was an COVID nineteen, but but I, I remember was in the sick for three last week, it was in only on Friday. And then it there was in no problem, it was not feel well, but I was an idea what I came to for the I went to Nakuru. I felt, I had no idea what to go to do. I talked to editors and pastor. So I told I told my friends, you know what happened with my father was this was in COVID nineteen. And she was not breathing. She was not weapon. It was not was not breathing. And I taken hospital uh, what's the name? Matan Hospital. It was in the first corona day it was the closing church. She was no idea was what she was not breathing. My sister was calling. My mom was I don't know she was in sick, but my father was not breathing. He was not breathing. I don't know idea what happened at that. I don't know he came to find all my friends. I wish I knew no, it was my father was sick. And then when I saw the I was when I saw the pictures in the field. I went, I went to Nakuru on Friday. I was no idea what to kind if I was crying in the pain. And then she was in I don't know she came from the time I was in, was not to breathe, was not to breathe, to take, we gave her a water. And she remember to tell me, it was the only idea when she came to, she was left at this church. You know, my father was left church. Mm. She was in this left this church. She was a member to my friends. <laughs> when, she, when she came with my mom was in church. And she was again with her. My, when she came with the cup, I remember to, to tell me, you go to church and pray. And when my member I was in to Nakuru, I was so shocked. I would came to say, I was the pastor when on well, last two Wednesday. I don't know, it came to my idea. Mm -hmm. I was in the she was not breathing. It was not breathing. <clears throat> and then I told my friends. So my friends came to visit. People, friends came to pray, sing. And then we came for, and then we traveled on a Friday. Midnight, and then I was really dear to came from. I asked the pastor if I was praying. She will tell me, Is this just your, and you know, my father was just your sick. Yeah. She was left this church. I remember to my, my father one day, she was left this church. He was his left his estate church. She once came to his church, she gave her go to church to pray. I remember I told my sister, it's my sister is a doctor. So my sister is a doctor. She told my mom, she was calling my mom to at home. I told my friends, I was crying, I was crying in the church here, I was paying, I don't know came from. That's why I was, I was not to do, I was not to pray. I told you I came to church. This is not your father was sick. 
But I saw my, I was in Iraq, we were the ones last week on Friday, and then, and thank God I was no idea what I came to do. And then it was, uh, I went, went to travel, we traveled with my cousin and my family, my uncles. So that's why I went and I had to come to see yeah. where my uncle was living. So my uncle, the first one is my brother's mom. My uncle passed away. And then was she was in COVID 19. And then I told me when she came to this church, my father was loved this church. Was loved this church. But you know, you know, my daughter, that you've said that your friends came to pray for Baba. Okay. It was, it was a, good. It was good about the, my friends. Mm. We thank God my friends came. Yes, yes. And the people came for the people. Mm. And the gift was there, my friends. You know, the gift is my neighbor. Mm. She knows my father. I told my, and I told my friends, come and visit your ma, your father. Mm. And the people, she was love my father. Mm. Was seeing in the church. He came into the house. We give her fruits. We give her uh, bread and tea. Mm. I, I mean, I was wake up. I saw the feel, but I, I was no I was such a pain in my head. Mm -hmm. That's why I was kneeling down my prayers. I was crying in Jesus. Amen. Amen. There was never. Amen. I was, mm. I was crying in Amen. And the Lord is good. The Lord is good. You know, what you do for your neighbor, what you do for your friend, goes a long way. Just a word of prayer goes a long way. I would like us to bring it to an end. I also want to end with this quick testimony. That last Sunday, we admitted my mom to hospital. Suddenly, we had to rush her to the HDU at Nairobi Hospital. We thank God because of your prayers. She has moved to the general ward, still recovering. As I live here, I'm heading there to go and uh, be with her. We continue to request for your prayers that she will be able to recover and be discharged. But I'm sure that there are many of us that have patients in hospital, have patients at home, have difficult times at this time. Let us remember each other in prayer. I want us to pray as we bring this session to an end. Heavenly Father, your children have gotten up on their feet to give testimony of your goodness, of your faithfulness, of your power to heal. There may be others who are in that position but did not get a chance to come in front and give testimony, but deep inside, they are giving testimony of your goodness, thanking you for your faithfulness. We pray, Heavenly Father, that as we bring our programs to an end, that you will take us home safely, that, Lord, you will heal our sick ones, that you'll give us the strength to endure this year and move into the new year to the glory and honor of your name. We want to thank you for those who took time to organize this day, for the children's choir, for our brother Humphrey, for the work that is done with the children's choir, for our pastor and his someone for this morning, for our pastor J.K. Summon at uh, Westlands this morning, for Elder John Awiti, who is ministering to your, your children at Westlands at this time. And many of our elders, the Lord, who are ministering in the other congregations. We thank you for the pastoral committee that is meeting at this time. As we go home, take us home safely and bring us back to our congregation safely next Sabbath. We pray and thank you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.
I'm standing here to tell you that uh, before you leave, there's a cake at the deaconry desk. But before you eat it, let me tell you what it's all about. Did we want to eat a cake? There's a cake at the deaconry desk. So mine is to just say thank you on behalf of the loving tone in church evangelism. Uh, Lovington SDA has um, urban evangelism, has an outreach program to far lands like South Sudan and Ethiopia. Uh, Sister Margaret, which one are you running? Community evangelism. So we have many programs. But as we do all that, we remember that we are there also as Lovingtonians. We are there and we need to be evangelized too. So this afternoon, uh, through the in-church evangelism, we organize this thanksgiving to thank God for what he has been to us in the last two years that have not been very easy. We can all agree that these last two years have actually been very hard. And this year, even as we are coming to the end, we are seeing there is a, uh, this thing has come up again. So it is only through God that we can stand and say that all has been well. So we wanted to thank God, give thanks, and pray. And with the testimonies that have been given here through the in-church. So on behalf of the in-church evangelism committee, I want to say that if any of us has a prayer request, if any of us needs to be ministered to, please reach out to us. You can reach out to myself, Elder Steve, uh, Mogusu, uh, Sister Mary Ayo, any of those, and we'll plan to come and just pray with you and thank the Lord for everything. So thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. I want to look at the book of Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter 6, uh, chapter 6, verse 24 to 20, verse 20, 24, to 26, uh, the following words are written. And this is as we are coming to the end of the year and some of us will be planning to travel as we are getting into the holidays and all that. So this is what Moses was told. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord may he bless you and keep you as we come to the end of the year 2021. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, my brothers and sisters. And let's pray that it will be well and we'll stand here again in the year 2022, God willing, to glorify his name and to lift it up high. Shall we stand and after we've prayed, uh, we'll have a small bite at the tent. Shall we pray? Gracious Father in heaven, we come before you again this afternoon full of gratitude for the far that you've brought us. Sometimes we take it for granted that uh, we are here by any other mean but my father, we know that if it was not for you, we would not be here today. So again, we give you thanks. We glorify your name and we praise it and we lift it up high. Thank you for having worked with us in these difficult circumstances. And we know that if we focus and believe and trust in you, all will be well in the coming times. Keep us safe now. Those who will be traveling, my father, we pray that you'll give them safe passage. And those who will be remaining, my Father, we pray that you will keep them safe also. Even for this pandemic that is surrounding us everywhere, we pray, my Father, that, that you come to pass and that your goodness will be seen in everything. Walk with us now. Go with us until we meet again. For this we pray in the name of Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior. Amen. In the tent, uh, we have a cake to celebrate the, God, the Lord's goodness. Be blessed.